Well, I always attribute my father's positive outlook as being his most special quality, and there, among others. I mean, there are there are a dozen, but uh, my father never ever views something as being impossible to do. He believes in himself. He believes in other people. He believes that uh, something good can come out of any situation, and uh, I think that's a special gift. My dad grew up as a in a single parent household. His aunts and uncles uh, were a, uh, had a major influence on raising him and helping him be the man that he is today. Um, and I think there was always that little bit of a gap or that uh, void in my dad's life of not having that father figure that um, his giving 110%, he would give 110% um, raising us or working at uh, building his business, uh, doing something philanthropic in the community. It, it is always, it, he never is satisfied just going to a certain point. And I think it's always trying to shore up for that, not having a father in his uh, adolescent years, growing his childhood. Dad is a, is a special person too, and that he's so generous in how he will support individuals or organizations and he makes friends so easy he may meet somebody at the Kroger store and he interacts with them and he feels you know their situation in life and he immediately wants to help them I know oftentimes he'll give people my phone number and tell them to contact me about a job for themselves or for their children or for their grandson he's just a a, a warm generous person and everywhere he goes if he can make somebody's day better because they interacted with him He's all about it. He steps up and makes it happen. His work ethic, his uh, determination, his never quit, can do attitude. Um, I watched that my entire life and I've modeled myself. I purposefully said, I need to be like dad. I need to be that way. And my behavior of modeling him, my two daughters who are now grown and in their 30s, I see traits of my father and characteristics of my father and them. I'm very proud of that. His absolute favorite quote is good, better, best. Never let it rest till your good is better and your better is best. And that is alive inside our company. We use that attitude and philosophy all the time because we're really never satisfied with however well we're doing or how things are going. There's always a strive to make it better and to make it the best that it possibly can be. I probably have a much greater appreciation for the sacrifice uh, that um, how hard it was for him growing up that he didn't have the same, uh, he wasn't afforded the same opportunity that I was to have a father and a mother 24-7 in my life that um, could lead me and guide me and nourish me. Yeah, he's he's 85 years old, and he's talking about his boxing program and helping his kids in the uh, inner city community. And he talks about them like they're his children or his grandchildren. And uh, the the privilege that he has to be able to afford them a little bit of guidance because he knew what it was like uh, growing up that he didn't have that. He just goes over the top. I think a testimony to his success as a parent and as a businessman is the fact that, you know, some 62 years later, our company is as vibrant as it's ever been, and uh, we're going to keep it that way. Dad, I cannot express how proud I am to be able to say that I'm your son. I love you. I'm so proud of you. I live every day trying to be half the man that you are, and uh, hopefully someday I can look back and feel really proud of what I did purely off of uh, modeling uh, the, the lead and the guidance you provided me. Thank you. I love you so much. Dad, I can't tell you how proud I am of you and uh, especially being honored in, in this way in front, of, in front of all the guests that are here today. But uh, I can think of um, no better person that I could call my father, my uh, my business mentor, my personal mentor, my uh, mentor to my children, my grandchildren than you. I you just have been a, a total joy my whole life, and uh, I'm so happy for you today. I know you want to live to be 100. We're going to throw a heck of a party for you when that happens. Love you, Dad. Thank you. Mm -hmm.